Uy, uy, nandyan pala kayo? What's up guys? I'm Lance and I'm here with M. And we're so excited to take you on our journey today to experience the Yakan village here in Zamboanga City. We've read so much about the fascinating Yakan culture, but nothing compares into experiencing it firsthand. Tara na! According to Business Mirror PH, the Yakan are an indigenous ethnic group here in the Mindanao region of the Philippines. For centuries, they have created these fabrics with traditional methods passed down over generations. As we step into the Yakan village, we are greeted by a kaleidoscope of colors and patterns that adorn the traditional textiles woven by the skilled hands of the Yakan women. Each thread tells a story, preserving centuries-old techniques and reflecting the deep-rooted cultural identity of the community. During our visit to the Yakan village, we had the privilege of interviewing one of the master weavers of the community. Her name was Salma Balat. According to her stories, her family originally came from the land of Basilan, in which a few people from her community then migrated to Zamboanga after experiencing the conflicts and violence that arose during her time during the 1950s and 60s. The art of weaving for her is something she considers as a generational art, for it is an art that was passed down to her by her mother and then her forebears as well. Currently, she mentors a few people from her community to keep their tradition and art of weaving alive. Her intricate patterns, as she describes it to us in her native language, usually portray four things. The most prominent is the diamonds, then the flowers, the kalis or the curved blade of the yakan, and lastly the fishes. From her, our time interviewing her, we learned a lot of things about her culture, the culture of the yakan people. It is something that we truly admire and appreciate during our time there. Beyond its aesthetic allure, Yakan Village is a beacon of empowerment. The women who uphold the tradition of weaving are not only artisans, but also guardians of their heritage. Their unwavering commitment to preserving their legacy inspires us to cherish and support indigenous craftsmanship around the world. At ayun na nga, uh, patapos na yung ating experience dito papunta sa Yakan Village. You know, I am at a loss for words, um, Kasi watching the weavers at work is a truly mesmerizing experience. Well, because, you know, from what we have learned from what they have told us, you know, it's really an intricate process. Kasi it involves a lot of steps, a lot of thinking to be able to create a perfect masterpiece. Oh, ikaw, M, ano yung masasabi mo tungkol doon? Well, I think, personally, I'm a history lover and sabi ni uh, Lola kanina, they came here daw because uh, magulo daw sa Basilan ng martial law. And it actually reflects on how conflicts um, leads people, no? Like, parang mag-migrate sa ibang lugar, mag-transfer. So, it's really important to know their history kasi mas ma-appreciate natin yung culture nila. No, mas ma- mas ma-appreciate natin. Well, uh, I hope na maybe we'll get the another experience na bumalik dito sa Yakan Village. Oh. And not only that, sa sunod nating uh, sa sunod nating travel, we're always going to bring these memories and talks that we had with the Yakan people and how they welcomed us here sa village. Well, as we end this video, I would like to say thank you very much for the experience thank and thank you very much for watching guys. See you next time.